Hello everybody and welcome to your next uh, LEGO 5 platformer tutorial. So in this tu the last tutorial we ended off by uh, doing the drawing function for the base animation class. So uh, for the other stuff what we should do, uh, for, let's go to the unload content. So for the unload content let's unload a lot of the obvious stuff. So destroy bitmap for image, AL destroy bitmap for the source rect uh let's see uh for the alpha and uh, position the alpha will set that to null set position to position one is equal to null uh, so we'll we'll do all that with all our values, and uh, we'll destroy the font as well. Yeah, we'll destroy fonts. Okay. So, uh, for the, we'll finish off the animation class for now, and we'll come back to it, uh, what we need it what we need later. So, what we're going to do is what we want to do is we want to handle uh, screen transitioning right now. Okay. Uh, so uh, we're gonna be adding a lot of cool animations. We're gonna be adding in like uh, zooming, fading, parallax scrolling, uh, uh, play like cropping of the players for player animation, any animation, like a lot of different animations. But for now, uh, the way we're gonna do screen anim uh, the animations for the screen is we're going to be doing like a fade out, fade in type of thing. So when they press the when they press enter or whatever or whatever key it is to go to the next screen, it will fade out and then it will fade back in um, whenever it's whenever it's time to show the brand new screen. Okay, uh, so uh, it's up to you which type of animation you want to do. You can customize it to to do your own animation, but I'm just going to uh, show you how I would go about doing the animation. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say if, uh, my name is class fade animation and the base class is animation okay so we click finish uh, so it includes animation dot h uh, have our animation class okay so uh, we derived uh, a few functions from so we have some virtual methods we have load content we have unload content and we have update okay and this takes an in input manager and we have our input okay so we got we got that stuff uh, set we got that part down packed so now let's go into the fade animation class so for if we go to our, our private section and I don't know why I don't know why we're getting this error Hmm. Okay, we can check back on that later. Anyways, so we have a private section, and for the fade animation, we're gonna need a, a few different things. We're gonna have to have a sp fade speed, and uh, we'll have a boolean called increase. So it tells us if we should increase uh, the alpha or decrease the alpha. Anything we uh, we need, we'll add in later. Uh, so we gotta do our fade animation uh, so our load content so and and our load content for the animation class we're going to just be setting defaults for these values right here okay so if we go to our animation dot cpp uh, what we're going to do is we're going to be setting some defaults okay so uh, for uh, the load content actually should take some parameters okay it should take uh, we'll modify this right now so it should take uh, some parameters and the parameters should be uh, a bitmap so the image that we're going to be working with uh, a string so text and it should contain uh, we'll have a position okay 
so uh, it should contain those three things because it, it absolutely needs those three things in order to run something in the animation class so uh, we'll fix that up right here so we'll take these things and post it in the animation and so we got to do that in the fade animation as well and the fade animation dot cpp got to post it in there okay and so if we go back to our load content I mean yeah, our animation load content so what we're going to do is I'm going to say our, our image is going to be equal to the uh, image in the parameter uh, same with the text and same with the position okay and we're going to say position zero and one is equal to position one okay so uh now we just got to the defaults for other things so for the alpha we'll set the defaults uh to 255 uh, meaning that everything's fully visible and uh for the what are the other things for the font for the for the default font i will say al load fonts and uh, we'll load font one dot ttf size the default size we'll put as 30 and flags no okay and what else do we need so our source rect by default will be equal to our image and if anything needs to modify it we'll modify it so actually uh or actually we could set our source rect to null we could set it to image uh doesn't really matter it's just that if we set our source rect to equal to image by default then this one will never be called this else will never be called so we could remove this and but we'll leave it there for now just in case uh so now we got our default load content so this is the stuff that we want to uh, load in um all the time okay this load content so in our fade animation load content, what we're gonna do is we're gonna call the base class animation load content. So we're gonna just pass in the image, the text, and the position. Okay, so we're gonna do that, and, and every single any uh, thing that is uh, specific to the fade animation class, uh, we want to uh, load that into. So for our fade speed, uh, we'll say um, 1.0 and sorry fade speed and for our increase we'll set increase equal to false since the default alpha is going to be equal to 255 it would make sense to decrease the alpha and then increase it again okay uh, so for fade animation uh, what we're going to do is we're going to have our update uh, input manager and we're going to have our no sorry so we could uh yeah actually we yeah, we'll have our fade animation and we have our unload content and uh we can call animation unload content and for the fade speed and such we could just set it to null and we could set increase uh or we could just keep it the way it is okay so uh, that is what we have uh, for that so for the update for fade animation update uh, what we want to do is that when we call it we want it to if increase is equal to false we want to decrease the alpha and uh, if it's equal to true we want to increase the alpha okay so simple enough uh, oh this is another thing and an important variable that we need in the animation class so if you go to animation dot h we're going to have a variable called is active okay and is active is going to tell us whether the animation is active or not okay we don't want to just do an animation if we don't want to do it at a particular time so we need to set when the time is so by default we're going to set is active equals to false and it's in our little content so if we go to fade animation, what we're going to do is we're going to say that if is active, uh, then we do whatever. So we're going to say that if, if increase, 
So we're going to say the if not increase. Then we're going to say uh, alpha subtract equals to a phrase speed. Else alpha plus equals fade speed. Okay. So we're going to say that if uh, if alpha is less than or equal to zero, then we set increase to true. And what we'll do is that if that's the case, we'll set alpha to zero. Then we'll set um, increase to go to true, or we we could just set increase to true if we want to, but uh, just to be on the safe side, if anything. And we'll just say we'll have else if. Also, if alpha is greater than or equal to 255, then we set alpha to 255, and we set increase to false. And if active is equal to false, uh, then we will set alpha equal to 255. And we can have uh, some some methods and stuff in order to change these different values which you will be adding in later on uh, but that will be it for this tutorial and we'll continue learning about it in the next tutorial so that's it I uh, hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching and bye